Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, my name is Annette Boucher and I am the Acting Chief Clerk of the Nova Scotia House of Assembly. Today is May 14, 2020, and this is the swearing in of Kendra Coombs, the MLA for Cape Breton Centre, who was elected in a by-election held on March 10, 2020. As you can tell, I think today marks a pretty special historic moment in our 262 years of democracy here in Nova Scotia. As it is the very first time we will swear in an MLA virtually using a virtual platform with both of us in our own homes. We are doing this today exceptionally because public health restrictions presently in place because of the COVID-19 virus make a public gathering at Province House for a traditional swearing in ceremony impossible. Ms. Coombs nonetheless has requested that we attempt a virtual swearing in, which we are going to do, and I know we will successfully complete today. And this is being done rather than holding a, an in-person ceremony at a later date. So as I mentioned, to proceed virtually, we've had to make some adaptations to the proceedings and technology will need to cooperate with us today. So we ask uh, Ms. Coombs, I ask you for your patience and you for my patience too, uh, as we get through this. But just before commencing, I'd like to uh, express to you that the Speaker of the House of Assembly, uh, the Honorable Kevin Murphy, wanted me to congratulate you on your swearing in today and to welcome you to the group of 51 elected members who represent and work on behalf of the people of Nova Scotia in the legislature. So in terms of today's proceedings, how we will proceed is uh, sort of a several steps that normally we wouldn't explain the steps in advance, but because of the virtualness of this, we will. So I will confirm Ms. Coombs' identity first. I will then make some opening remarks and read from the writ of election. I will administer the oath of allegiance. Ms. Coombs will sign a copy of the oath, which she has in front of her, and she will photograph it and email it to me. And this is truly the point where we'll see how technology cooperates. Once I have received the email, I will compare her signature and indicate whether I am satisfied that it is in due form. And after that, Ms. Coombs, you will be invited to make a few give a few remarks, make a few words like you would in an in-person ceremony. And once that is finished, I will conclude the proceedings by making some closing remarks and concluding the, the afternoon proceedings. And if you were at Province House, you would have a little lunch afterwards. Well, we'll just have to go to our own respective kitchens and whip that up once we're finished. So I will start. Uh, earlier today, Ms. Coombs provided me with a copy of her valid Nova Scotia driver's license. And I have it in front of me and I can, can confirm that the person before me virtually appearing is the same person whose photo appears on the valid driver's license. So I'm satisfied Ms. Coombs that you are indeed Kendra Coombs. A member of the legislative assembly is elected to represent the concerns of their, of their constituents and since 1867, before assuming their seat 
in the House of Assembly and sitting on House committees, the member must take the oath of allegiance and sign the member role. By doing these things, the MLA makes the pledge to conduct, conduct themselves in the best interest of their constituents and in the best interest of the people of the province of Nova Scotia. Taking the oath reminds the MLA of the serious obligations and responsibilities they are assuming. So I will now read from the writ of election, which I have received um, from the returning officer. So this writ of election was issued to Ian Chapel, the returning officer for the electoral district of Cape Breton Centre on February 6, 2020 by command of the Assistant Chief Electoral Officer of Nova Scotia. The report of proceedings, which is on the opposite, the flip side of the writ of election and return was completed by the returning officer after the poll was held. And it reads as follows. I, the undersigned, certify that a poll was granted and it was held on the 10th day of March, 2020 and on official edition day, I completed the official edition of the votes and found the number of votes cast for each of the candidates was as follows. Kendra Coombs, 2,731. Adriana McKinnon, 76. Louis Piafson, 1,507. Dave Wilton, 1,982. And I certify that Kendra Coombs was elected by the Electoral District of Cape Breton Centre as a member of the House of Assembly of Nova Scotia. And this is dated the 20th day of March, 2020, and is signed by Ian Chapel, the returning officer. So now I have provided to Ms. Coombs uh, the affirmation of the oath and she has it in front of her and I would ask that you now read the oath of allegiance. I, Kendra Coombs, do affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. Thank you. That, thank you. That's great. Now, uh, what we are going to do, this is when I referred to the technology working with us, uh, we're going, I'm going to explain what we're going to do for signing the oath and how you are going to transmit it to me before you start signing. So I'm going to ask you to sign the document that I have forwarded to you that you have in front of you, which is headed with the text of the oath you have just taken. And this text appears on the original member role which is currently located at Province House. The document that you are going to sign will be attached by me and form part of the original role. So I would ask that you now sign the oath that you have in front of you. And once you have signed it, I want you to take your time and to take a photograph of it and to email it directly to me. So I'm going to let you proceed. Thank you. I am now signing the roll as directed by you. And I am now going to take that picture of the roll. and I will be sending it to you momentarily. And I have sent the, I have sent this, my signature to you. Okay. So now I am just going to await a receipt of the email and ensure that you have photographed the entire document and didn't maybe shake and cut off a piece of it. Um, it will only take a few moments. And this is, as I said earlier, where um, we are going to see how technology is going to cooperate. 
So it's sort of like a little, a, a short little pause, I would say. Hmm. Could I ask you to email it just one more time? Oh, hang on. I think I think I have received it. Just one, one moment. As I said, we're sort of, uh, yes, I do have it. I am comparing your signature to the signature I have here on your driver's license and the whole document is there. So I confirm that I've received the document electronically. I have compared your signature thereupon to the signature on your driver's license and that both signatures are the same and I'm satisfied of that. So now, if you have any comments or remarks or words you'd like to share, this is your opportunity. So I turn the floor over to you. Thank you very much. Um, I wanna thank first my campaign team uh, who worked tirelessly over the election through some very interesting weather that we had, uh, my family, especially my daughter and my partner with out whom I would not been able to do this or to get here today. So I wanna thank them. And I wanna thank my ca the caucus staff who, who have welcomed me with open arms, who have made this transition as easy as could possibly happen during a pandemic. And I want to thank the constituents for putting their faith in me and I hope to serve them well. And I'd like to thank yourself and your office as well as Legislature TV for making this virtual ceremony possible. I uh, thank you for this um, great honor of being the first MLA in Nova Scotia to be sworn in virtually. Thank you. Well, that is great. Thank you so much. So it's my turn to congratulate you. If we were at Province House and I had all of your colleagues and family, uh, they would do that as well, but on their behalf, um, I'm going to permit myself to congratulate you. You have now met the constitutional requirements of taking the oath of allegiance. You have signed the member's role and you are now able to assume your seat in the Legislative Assembly and sit on House of Assembly committees. You will receive a numbered MLA pin. You may have seen the members uh, wear this pin. It's a very treasured pin. We don't replace the pins. You get one and that is it. So when we see you in person, when I see you in person, I'll be pleased to give you your pin and have you sign the registry that you received the pin. And you'll also receive at that same time your MLA certificate. And that will be at a future day when we can meet uh, in person at Province House. As you mentioned, and as I did at the beginning, I think it's worth repeating that uh, a bit of history was made here today uh, because it is the first ever virtual swearing in. We've had to make some adjustments, but we are satisfied that the requirements have been met and you are a full-fledged member of the House of Assembly now. So congratulations. And that concludes today's proceedings. Thank you so much. Thank you.